I wanted to do a quick video on starting locks on long natural hair. And the reason why I decided to do this video is because I've been members of groups like on Facebook and online where people were very self-conscious about starting their lock journey on short hair. When I started my locks, my hair was right above bra strap length. So I pretty much had a decent amount of hair already to start my locks. And um, I think a lot of people are concerned about, you know, having really short hair whenever they start their locks because it kind of reduces the amount of styling you can do to your hair. Um, some people are afraid, they think about the way it's going to look once it's been locked because your hair does shrink when you lock your hair. So if you're already starting off with short hair, you know, like some people have, they had to cut their relaxed ends off. They had to do a big chop prior to locking their hair. So they don't have much to be, to start off with to begin with. And then they lock their hair and then the shrinkage happens and they're left with like little bitty locks and a lot of people feel very self-conscious about that. It may be something that those of us who are not very confident with the length of our hair, that's always an option that you have if you are not um, happy with the length of your hair at this point. You can always wait until your hair becomes a certain length to start your locks so that you can have more styling options when the time comes. And... Um, you know, it just makes it so much easier, at least I feel, um, especially seeing so many people um, online who talk about how they had their hair locked, they got their hair locked and then it shrank. And then so now they have like two inch locks all over their head and they're very self-conscious about it. They're wearing wigs over their hair, which to me defeats the purpose of being natural and wearing locks. But, you know, they feel like they have to opt to wearing wigs or putting braids in their hair until their natural hair becomes a certain length. And then they think that they'll feel better, which is probably true. You know, I mean, if you're one of those people who, who just cannot deal with short hair, I think that waiting until your hair reaches a certain length first is the best thing to do so that you won't have to go through those problems with locking short natural hair. However, if you start your hair on long natural hair, you always have the option to pull, pull your hair back in a ponytail, pull it half up, half down. I mean, there are so many things that you can do whenever you start with long hair um, than if you started on short hair. And so I think that for a lot of people um, who feel like they have to resort to wigs and I've heard of people putting weaves over their locks and they'll put braids over their locks because they're at that awkward stage where their hair just doesn't look as appealing as they would like it to and they feel like they have to cover it up. But there's, I think the a good thing for people to do is if you know you're that type of person who has to have your hair look a certain way, Go ahead and wait those few months to let your hair gain a decent amount of length prior to locking it. I personally don't think that um, putting weaves, braids, um, and wigs over your locks is a good thing because I think it interferes with the locking process. I think that um, because, you know, locks is already consists of shedded hair that would have normally shed out of the, the scalp that's already sitting in your hair. And then you add um, braiding hair on top of that. So that's more weight added onto your scalp and those follicles. And so I think for a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people's follicles are not that strong that they, it can carry all that weight. There are some people who can do that and they have no issues. However, there are some people who can do that and then when they take those braids out, their locks are hanging on by a thread. It's like it's, it's struggling. They have like traction alopecia because their follicles were not strong enough to support the weight of the weave, the shedded hair, and the hair that's already growing out of your scalp. 
So I just wanted to put that out there that, you know, I think that the way to go, if you're one of those people who is very self-conscious about length, wait that time, let your hair grow out, then start your locks, as opposed to resorting to wigs, weaves, stuff like that, um, to grow out your hair and not knowing what the condition of your hair will be like after you remove those styles. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Lock. What did I say? Did I say lock? Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.